So Dimeback Terrapin is a species of turtle that is found across the northeastern coast of the U.S., all the way from Texas up to Massachusetts. The terrapin is a very distinct looking turtle. Their scutes have these diamond shapes, hence why they have the name Dimeback Terrapin. And typically their skin is grayish to white, and they have black spots along it as well. It's the only species in the United States that's found in brackish water. And right now their populations are declining in many states due to road mortality, pet trade, and there's also the fact of habitat loss. Um, most of the coast along the northeastern U.S. is very urbanized, so loss of nesting habitat and row mortality is a great impact on them. So females will come out of the water to nest and they have to cross a road to get to suitable nesting habitat. They get hit by the cars and that typically leads to declines in the females' um, population. Through Western Connecticut State University, the Maritime Norwalk Aquarium, and the Department of Energy and Environmental Protection, we've all collaborated to make this project a reality. We are asking volunteers to go sample those sites so we can evaluate whether these are hotspots for dying bacteria and row mortality. In tier one, you are committing to volunteering weekly. Tier one is more intense, where you are assigned a road, you have to sample that road weekly. You walk down the road and see if you notice any terrapins crossing the road, any terrapins that have been hit by cars previously or recently, and you record the data on ANIC data. That is just an app you can download on your phone and it's submitted to the Maritime Norwalk Aquarium where we're able to analyze it. Tier two, there is no real commitment. If you have the time, we want you to do it. We want as many boots on the ground as possible, so if you can do it, we want you to do it. It's pretty simple with the app. You can download on your phone, you can download on your computer, you can enter the data, and then it goes into a globally used citizen science database. And with that, we can take the data, analyze it, look to see what it's telling us, and it will allow us to push those mitigation efforts through culverts, through road closures, or fencing, some sort of way in order to reduce the mortality in those populations. We highly suggest that you do not touch the terrapin, just leave them be, especially if it is a carcass. If you do find a terrapin that is injured and it is likely it can be saved, there is a hotline number that you can call. If it is alive, we suggest that you do not touch it, but if there is high probability this turtle is going to get hit by a car, we do suggest that you move it for the safety of the terrapin. We provide most of all the equipment that you will need for this project, including a bag and signs. We do provide a safety vest so that way you're more visible on the side of the road. You definitely want to wear long pants as well as closed toed shoes. We also suggest that you wear um, any type of bug repellent as well. Always just keep your guard up, look to see if cars are coming and going. Most of these roads are busy, hence why we believe that those are hotspots for the terrapins. But pretty soon the populations will get to a point that the severity is too severe and they won't be able to bounce back.